What if everything you have been told is one big lie? And that sentiment worries me a lot. Again, let's take our country as an example. We are starting to get a better and a precise sense of what's going on after we have been told that once we get the IMF program in, things will get better. By the end of tomorrow, we will know whether the IMF was really concerned about putting Sri Lanka back on track or whether they are the face organization for the needs and wants of the United States. If that is the case, we will be told that until such time we get certain policy changes uh, that benefits uh, the USA or the IMF, aka like the Central Bank Act, they might not be able to provide us with the bailout money. We as a nation are banking on a so-called failing superpower and its way of governance just to allow them to use our resources, our land, our sovereignty and our independence so that this failing superpower can stretch its time at the top a little bit longer before its demise. In return, we are ruined further. Don't forget, for closer to 500 years, our nation was ripped off uh, from and used by these very Western overlords. And our leader seems uh, to not care about what they are doing right now, willingly or unwillingly. It's funny how uh, in San Francisco, they are paying African Americans $5 million right now as reparations for slavery. Where is our money? We are a bankrupt nation, why? Right now, America's debt is at 123% of its GDP. Right now, the banking systems are failing and collapsing. Right now, that economy is crumbling down. Overnight, its second largest bank failed and is putting its economy in distress. Why? Because of erroneous policies implemented and supported by institutions like the IMF and the US Treasury. Very soon, Sri Lanka will definitely feel the heat of the failure of the Silicon Valley Bank and Signature Bank. It will have ripple effects on countries like ours because we too are implementing those erroneous policies here, pushed by organizations like the IMF. And when things go wrong here, do not once again start with useless slogans that don't mean anything. If you want to blame someone, blame yourself. Because you blindly followed and believed in that big lie sold to you at a time of your pain. We'll be right back.